Come on, Rax. Come on, Ragtime. Barkley will do just about anything for his best friend, Ragtime. Good. I love you, Rax. These petty thieves <laughs> will do just about anything. I'm so tired of working for small change. For their chance at the big time. We got to get some respect. I am telling you, we cannot live like this. His name is Ragtime. Hey, baby, this is it. Our train has arrived. He sleeps with the kids. Five hundred thousand dollars. That's the asking price for that horse. Oh my lord! Yeah. What would they get if it was full grown? We're gonna go on down to the show. We're gonna grab that little horse, and nobody's looking. Dad, Taylor, where are you? Yeah, this is Taylor, and this is Ragtime. Animals. We've got over 100 men and women and two helicopters out there looking for animals? They're asking $300,000 ransom. Now, these thieves are going to learn the hard way. The first rule in kidnapping. What if we get caught? This is the perfect time. Because even if we get caught, they ain't going to do us nothing. Put your hands up. Don't mess <laughs> with the horse. He is ruining this place. It's going to get us in real trouble. Call it get you. Where are you? I am not going to let Hello Pony beat me. Showcase Entertainment presents Jay Thomas. This is going to be a piece of cake. Taylor and Ragtime. From Liar Liar, Justin Cooper. Rags found us, Mom. Tell Dad. And Shelly Long as Sam. What kind of a kidnapper are you? The Adventures of Ragtime. That horse hadn't seen the last of me. Brief. I just wanted to get it on the computer. Hi, everybody. 
I playing? With the animals again? Probably. Why don't you go find them? All right, ladies and gentlemen, get those hot dogs, those peanuts, and popcorn, and salt drinks, and cool beer. said maybe even guys from TV will be there. TV? Hey, maybe you'll become real famous. Whoa. Boy, wouldn't that just be awesome? Barkley, where are you? Uh-oh, oh. busted. Barkley? What are you doing out here with the animals, huh? Just talking to them. They're just animals, son. They don't understand you. You're gonna see a lot of animals just like them tomorrow at the quarry show. 
Come on, let's go have some dinner, okay? Yeah. Are you coming tomorrow? Yeah, I wouldn't miss it for anything. Yeah, right. Poor Barkley. His dad has missed every big day of his life. Come on, Taylor, let's eat. I'll buy you dinner. <laughs> I just don't understand why. I didn't think they saw me, okay? I didn't think they saw me. I didn't think they saw me. They all right, all right. That's why. I am telling you, we cannot live like this. We got to get some respect. For who? For us. For us. Don't you see that? I'm doing the best I can. All I know is that I'm not going back to some repair store and waste my life. All right. People don't even fix nothing no more. All right. I am so tired of working for small change. Let's get the other gate. What are you and Barkley talking about so intently? The animals. I think he's reaching out to the animals instead of his parents. You know, he's getting too close. Honey, he's only eight. No. You know, put my business before my family. Yeah. Honey, I think that you're a wonderful daddy when you're here. And, um... That's it, That's it isn't it? I'm never here. And that is going to change, you know? If you have the time to run your ad agency and be a mother of three and keep this place up the way you do, then I certainly should be able to find the time to do fatherly stuff, you know, like your little league, football, or maybe hiking. I think that'd be great, honey. But what about the animals? The kids are crazy about them. Every time I want to be with the kids, they're busy with the animals. I think there is no time like right now for a change, especially with Rags. He's just getting big. Honey, we, we shouldn't keep a horse in the house. It's not right. But Jerry, he doesn't cause any problems. Honey, have I told you today how much I love you? No, I don't think so. I think I would remember that. that ran Morris out Honey, of business. Honey, go shave. Take a shower. Sarah, this is due tomorrow. Well, you can't take it into the shower with you, so I suggest you just take it to the fair with us. Oh, great. That way he'll miss the whole show again. Sweetheart. What a wonderful idea. Thank you. Mm. Amy, Barkley, wake your brother, please. Yeah, this looks pretty good. No, it doesn't. Boys don't have braids. What do you think? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Now take it out before someone sees me. Get it higher, higher. <laughs> We're going to get so Just go upstairs and clean up your mess, okay? And get dressed. Then come back and have breakfast and get the animals ready for the show. Now. Look, legal breed with horse and dog prints all over. Well, we can 
we print it from your computer, can't we? I help. I'll, I promise I will. Yeah, when do I get this offer of help? Right after we get back from Croatia. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go. I'm ready. Me too. I'm car sick. I gotta go party. I'm so excited. I'm so spoiled. Easy, you're tweaking my feathers. <laughs> what is that awful smell? Is it pretty? I don't know, can't see. Yeah, that hurts. Pick up, I can't hear you. What? Hi, good morning. This is Clyde at Parker reporting to you live from the Ventura County Fairgrounds, where today we're going to honor kids from all over the state who, for the better part of the past year, well, they've been raising, pampering, feeding their animals, all for their local 4-H clubs. Let me explain about the 4-H to you a little bit. The pushing on the far post, but Miola has it covered. This time they're using her tattoo as a target man inside. He's standing with his back to the goal. And hey. the first touch comes on a hey. easy to break through. He turned Armas to sleep in here. Either turn it down or change the stupid channel. So you all have plenty of time to come on down to the fairgrounds and see this soon-to-be-famous little miniature horse in person. His name is Ragtime, and he is irreplaceable. He's a house pet. He sleeps with the kids, he's housebroken, and he does gobs of tricks. This is it. Honey. His performance is scheduled for about 12 noon today. Take a look at this. Baby, our train's arrived. Are you talking about? Just get out here and look at this. So enjoy his performance. Give him a big hand. Oh. <laughs> What's the big deal? It came to me like a revelation. This is our ticket. Now get dressed. <laughs> what is our ticket? Where are we going? To the 4 H show. The people that own this little horse are rich, and they're going to have to learn to share with us. Hmm. You got a plan? Yes, I do. I'm going to go grab the horse. And nobody's looking. We're going to get his trailer, too. <laughs> oh, we're going to get his trailer, too. Isn't that nice? Uh-huh. What else? You tell your Sammy all that we're going to do now. We're going to bring him back here. Mm -hmm. Then we'll send him a ransom note. And after we get the money, we can go on down to Florida, something like that. Lester, what if we get caught? Get caught? Yeah. What can they do to us if we get caught? I mean, what do you think the penalty is for horse napping? It's got to be just a slap on the wrist, especially for a little itty-bitty horse like that. This is great. It's the perfect crime, because even if we do get caught, they could do us nothing. Well, how are we going to send the ransom note when we don't know where they live? My cousin was in 4-H. Yeah? They put the names and addresses in the program. Oh, you look ridiculous. Take this off. <laughs> I look like a clown. <laughs> yep, I've got the crowd in the palm of my hood. See the ringmaster? Uh-huh. She's known as the hatchet lady. Ragtime also knows how to play basketball. Wait. So what are you trying to tell us, Carter? That she hurts the animals? Not that I know of, but I hear they're still looking for her husband and two kids. Let's get Rags away from her. How old are you, Rags? Huh, I better count in years, because if I give it to him in days, we could be here till dinner. Good boy. Oh, boy, got it. What's next? He can tell us how old he is.
Ragtime is leaving the building. Yeah. Congratulations, Molly. Oh, sweetheart. And... Hey, where's the TV cameras? Wow, this is really neat. Maybe we will be famous. It's just exciting or what, huh, baby? Uh, uh, we are in the fast lane now. Don't you think we should get the horse before we start celebrating? It works, sweetie. Congratulations. Don't you think that we should get ready, go out to the van so we can grab him? Huh? Might even be nice to know which trailer's theirs. OK, OK. Oh, Let's go. I'm so sorry. Did you want to watch some little animals first? Zip it! Now, look, if I wanted my cake and I had to wait for my ice cream, I'd do it. You understand me? So here we have, we're going to be getting ready now for the second part of the Parade of Animals. Take a look at these beautiful animals. These two but I suggest you give them to me and I'd place them. Uh, or you could uh, put them up uh, at the auction. Yeah. Well, uh, would two weeks be out of the question, Frank? Well, no, uh, of course not. Oh, good. Okay. Well, why don't you uh, give me a couple weeks in, and then I'll call you and we'll arrange to get together. Really sell rags for five hundred thousand dollars? For sure. Thanks. Yeah, you bet. Very special event is about to take place, so come on down and get a seat in the bleachers. Want to know what I just heard? Mm-hmm. They are selling that horse for five hundred thousand dollars. Five hundred thousand dollars? Yes, ma'am. Oh my lord! Five hundred thousand dollars? Yeah. What they get if it was full grown? <laughs> Five hundred thousand dollars? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Five hundred thousand dollars. Then what happens? That means we're going to ask three hundred thousand for the ransom. So here we have our children holding up their rabbit. Oh, is this the application? This is the Great. Yeah. So I fill out this part? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, they were going to receive $500,000. Now they have to pay out. The it's thousand. simple math, girl. 500. Girl, Take away now. 300. Oh, okay. Leaves 200. Get it? We're generous. There you go. I got it. Finally. Doody, 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 do I want a blue? Yeah, back into the limo for the winner's ride home. Uh-oh. Whoa. There they are. Oh. Whoa. There they go. Come uh on, -huh. Come on, Come on, I could get used to this. This is going to be a piece of cake. Uh -huh. You ready for that motorhome? Yeah! Get us one of those king-size beds. Oh, yeah. Not now, Lester. I'm doing my hair. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There they go. There they go. Ooh, baby. We're oh. on our way. <laughs> You have a safe drive home. And you tell your kids uh, they did a wonderful job. They should be very proud of those animals. They are. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Oh, OK. I want to be like Reg's time. Why? Do you want to go around looking at people's knees all your life? Hi. You ready to go, huh? Yeah. OK. So were you able to see any of the show? Oh, yeah. It was great. It was a good show this year. Yeah. Next year, we'll be in the better. Next year. Well. Let's talk about next year later. I got some suggestions for that. Is this the attorney talking? No, no, this is Dad. Ready to be rich? I am ready to be rich! Yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> Lester, you were right. This is so easy. <laughs> May I pay ransom? No, what'd you do with that? I tell her the visor. Ooh -wee. 
All right. Well, let's stop at the first mailbox you see, rich boy. <laughs> <laughs> you are a genius, Liz Hustler. You are. You are so smart. You are my sweet, sweet potato pie. You're the apple. the long faces guys i'm sorry it's over it went so fast how about you barclay did you have a good time mm, it was okay hey rags won the blue didn't he yeah, let's see it. no stop i'm playing with it you can share you can share yeah but why don't we put show them off in other shows how about that dad I thought next month, you know, after my trial's over, maybe we could go camping and do some fishing. What do you think about that? That yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah, and I bet Ragtime and Taylor will have as much fun as we will. a genius, remember? That was them, this is now. We have to go get that horse, Lester, right now. No, uh that's way dangerous. Lester, we already sent the ransom note, and we ain't got the horse. Hello. Well, they can't do that now, can they? They're just animals having a fun time. I didn't mean anything else. Okay. Off you, Rags. You guys can go inside if you want. Thanks. What a guy. Come on, Amy, show me your computer game. All right, come on. I never thought you'd win blue ribbons, and now it seems that blue ribbons are the wrong color. Just know that I'll do everything I can for you. Everything. I love you, Rags. Oh, I love you too, Barkley. Why are you so sad? Now, genius, I'll never get my motor home, will I? Answer me. It'll be dark soon. I'm going to pull the van up the driveway with no lights on, and I'm going to get up as close as I can to the... To what? To what? We don't even know where the little horse stays at. And then I'm going to throw that blanket over its head so it can't identify us. You honestly think that a horse can identify you? Honey, remember that promise you made? I always keep my promises, sweetie. Oh, thanks. Here you go. I'll reprint your brief mm -hmm. and proof it, and you can make dinner. 
In here? Oh. Think of the kitchen, counselor, as your courtroom. Barclay can field questions. And you can practice. That's the stove. The oven's over there. Sink. Good luck. And don't hurt yourself. Uh, I can't stand the dark. Is this better? Oh, stop that! <laughs> Do you like this one? I don't know. Maybe blonde is better for stealing. <laughs> oh, stop that! I hate it! How are you gonna grab that horsey when it's pitch black outside? That ain't gonna be a problem for your Lester. I'm good, remember? Oh, yeah. I forgot. I'd have to be a mental case not to know that, wouldn't I? Don't stare at me. Hey. Hello. Do you want any help? Will you answer a question? Sure. Are you some animals? I don't know yet. We shouldn't sell them. Um. We've become friends. You wouldn't want to sell a friend, would you? Why, don't you think that uh, people friends and animal friends are different? No. Sometimes the animal friends are better than the people friends. You didn't answer my question. About next year? Yeah. They trust me to pet them, feed them, my bath. They trust me. How about, though, if they, you know, they get too big or they eat too much or they demand care that we can't provide? What about them? You're a lawyer, Dad. Don't you tell clients to deal with their problems? Yeah, I suppose so. So why don't we deal with them instead of running away from problems before they even become problems? How about if we talk, okay? We can talk, just as long as you don't sell the animals. Is this how it works in court? How's that? Do you compromise? Yeah, sometimes. Alyssa, why don't you go in and wash up and get everybody in here? Dinner will be ready in a few minutes, okay? Next year, I want to plant a garden and raise vegetables. We can sell vegetables without a problem. All right. Come on, it's time for our family get together. Okay, but I gotta go outside first. Well, hurry up, or you'll miss it. Do, 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 do. I won the blue. Gosh, I can't believe I won. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> do, 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 do. Come here. See 
you later, mister. Playtime's over. Oh, I can't wait to tell Taylor how dopey our neighbor is. <laughs> and thank you for, well, just one heck of a good day, Lord. And for all the ribbons, the trophies, and for Mom and Dad. I just want to say thank you for giving us so much to be thankful for. It was really wonderful. And thanks for such a wonderful Mom and Dad. And for Ragtime and Taylor and all our other friends. Amen. 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 Why don't you tuck the boys and I'll take Amy to her room. Okay, boys, let's go. Time Good for bed. Let's go to tuck in. You too, Rags. Good night, Daddy. Good night. Oh, I want to go to bed. Good night, everybody. Come on, Taylor. Sounds good to me. What the heck is that awful smell? Uh, oh. Lester, am I smelling you? You've got the horse, right? What are you trying to say, Charlie? I talked to Fred Walls. Yeah, I know. What did you want to talk about? The animals. Since Rags and Taylor did so well at the show, there's a lot of interest in them. Really? What kind of interest? I want to free the family of the animal obligation. I see. And did you, by chance, discuss this with the rest of the family and I'm the last to know? Or did you make this little decision all on your own? Come on, there's no reason to get upset about I this. I disagree. The children are very attached. How do you think they're going to react? They're too young to tar and feather you. So how did you leave it with Mr. Waters? I told him to give us a couple weeks. He said it's it's always rough, but things work out. Oh, it's very thoughtful of him. Are you sure you want to do this? I wonder if our new neighbor's still out there. <laughs> oh, he won't be hard to find because he smells like poop. <laughs> no. Oh. What? What? The little horse gets out in the yard. You hit me. Yes, I did. Now go get that little horse. Now just go out there and sit down. Maybe that horse will be attracted to your scent. Now shut the darn door. I don't see him, but he must be close. <sighs> yep, he's somewhere close, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh. oh, hey, there you are. Are you okay? Oh, gosh, I was just playing around with you. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. A leash? Oh, what's this for? Oh, I don't want to go for a walk. Okay, I'll follow along if you really want me to. Dumb. They're our new neighbors. 
Jumpers, come on, we're going for a ride. Just get in the van. A ride already. Uh, I still don't think this is a good idea. Come on, go in there. We don't want the doll. We can dump her anywhere. Let's just get out of here before they wake the whole neighborhood up. All right. Go on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now just let it be. But it's oh, are we there yet? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're busted. This butt back in the bedroom. Well, that's a good idea. We can get rid of her later. Hey! Oh. Oh. Get your butt out of my face! <laughs> oh. Now that wasn't nice. No, it was not nice. Well, he started it. Help me. Help me. Now, however, because of a little-known lawsuit filed by the tiny law firm of Grant Hill and Blue of California against the state and the United States government, the feds have finally agreed to open their long-sealed files. The lawsuit charges misrepresentation, fraud, and overcharging on contracts and has certainly generated some concern. You sure got away with horses, Lester. <laughs> Will you look at me? That horse has deformed me forever. It's not that bad. Yes, it is. I've got to get rid of him. Someone will see him out there. I'm going to take him up to that old mansion up the road. Are you suggesting we break into some old guy's mansion? I'm not doing no breaking and entering. The gardener told me that they're out of town for a month or two. Go on now, get off me! Here, Horsey, come over here. Get him! Let me drive. Horsey, what are you doing? What's it eating? <laughs> Some French fries you dropped. I think it likes you. I think it likes you a lot. No, I want to drive. Here, give me the, give me the wheel. Right, come on, when it. do I get to drive? Don't leave the wheel alone now. No, no, you leave, leave it alone. Oh, get get all away from me. Over here. Get out. Oh, he oh. bit me. He bit me. Are you happy now? <laughs> he bit me. Oh, this looks cool. Of course. Wow, check it out. You look at this all. Come on. This is going to be fun. Hmm. Why are we stopping? Very nice, if I do say so myself. All right. Now, you stay here. I'll be right back. Where's Lester going? Don't stare at him. Well, it's hard not to. <laughs> Don't stare at me. But you look so stupid. See him? That's my Lester. He's real smart. Compared to what? Alarm 0516. I have seen um, 
Come in. Looks like you're ready, you big ugly jerk. You're supposed to knock, ask if you can enter, and when you receive permission, that's when you come in. Got it? Of course I got it. That's why I came right in. Really? Where is everybody? Probably have to go, you know what? So who feeds? I did it yesterday. Then we'll flip a coin. Heads or tails, Amy? Mm, tails. It was tails. You lose, Barkley. Hey, what about you? I flipped the coin. Coin flippers can't play yoke, mate. Otherwise, they could cheat. Oh, I didn't think of that. What, yoke, mate? Is that another one of your big words? What does it mean, anyway? Yoke fellow. Duh. Duh. What does a yoke fellow mean? A friend. Okay, yoke mate? Okay, yoke mate. I'll feed him. Okay. I'm not going in there. Come on, horsey. Oh, I'm tired of this game. Upsy daisy, horsey. Up the stairs. Let's play something else. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're trying to get me mad again. Oh, Lester, leave him alone. He's scared. He ought to be. I don't think so. Oh, Lester. Oh. Oh. All right, horsey, come. Oh, look at you here. Oh. Oh. Okay, here we go, horsey. Oh, now don't start now. Come on, we're almost here. That's oh, good. nice place. Now this is more my style. Come over here. Come over here. Here. Take this. Put this on your keys so you don't lose them. Well, you think I'm as dumb as that mule now? Oh, now don't make me answer that. I'll answer that. What are you doing? I don't trust him. No, let's look around this place. Maybe the old guy left us some money or some food or something. Come on, Sammy, let's check it out. Lester. Come on, Lester, let's go. So, Lester doesn't trust me, huh? Really? Well, Lester's right. <laughs> Lester! <laughs> What's the big deal? He can't go anywhere. Yeah, and neither can we. What? How could you be so stupid? I will... You were the one... Now, come on now, little horsey. Come on. You want the keys? Come on now. If I have to chase you around, you're going to be dead meat. Ooh, dead meat. I'm going to cut him off. Come on now. Give me them keys. Come and get them. <laughs> them keys. Rags. Are you guys out here? You better not be hiding from me. Here? Where the heck are you guys? Carter and Amy, isn't it? They're playing a trick on me, right? Okay, I can deal with their stupidity. And while the settlement with the government was a surprise, it was not totally unexpected. Our next step is to go after those companies that have been consciously engaging in unlawful conduct that they knew would destroy lives and stop them. Thanks. One more comment. Mr. Blue! I hope you care as much about your own family as you do everybody else, darling.
Jimmy? You down there? Sammy? You down there? Watch the first step! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that had to hurt. Rax? Taylor? Where are you? You wouldn't want to write for me, would you? Please come out. Please. Please. You're my best friend. Barkley, where have you been? I've been calling you. What's wrong? I think Rock Tom and Taylor ran away. Aren't they out in the yard? No. I'm sure they are. I'll go look for them, okay? You have some breakfast. Don't bother, Mother. He does this all the time. Or is this another one of your stupid, sick jokes? I didn't hide Rags or Taylor. What's the matter with you? Was the gate open, Barkley? They'll never find their way back. Never. They ran away. You did what? He called me in the middle of the night, Jerry. And I answered, uh... Excuse me. Diane, I told you to hold all my calls. Yes, Mr. Blue, but your wife is on the line. She says it's an emergency. Sarah, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm gonna teach you that little creep a big lesson. When I get my hands on you, you're gonna be finished. <laughs> Heard you talking to the man at the show. Oh. Who did he send over here? I don't know. We had two weeks. Let me make a phone call. Master, help me! <laughs> Where are you? Where am I? Where are you? I'm... Where are you, honey? Looking for you, sweetheart. Sweetheart, me and get off my thoughts. My beautiful girl, <coughs> you look terrible. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Just getting started. <laughs> My motorhome's fading away. And if we don't find those keys and, and get out of here, someone else is going to get that ransom before we do. No, no, you are going to get your motorhome. As soon as I get my hands on that little horse. Oh, I'm scared. <sighs> uh -huh. By the way, does that hurt? What? Bad. Can I come in? Would you so grab time? Uh, Barkley, Barkley, listen to me, okay? Haven't you ever had anything worth keeping, ever? Look, I, I thought that camping and 
baseball and fishing, you know, it would be fun for us. See, my dad never had any time for that, and I thought... But what about what I thought? What about how Ragtime thinks? Dad, this isn't fair. I think we should go look for him, okay? Man. No, 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 I checked. They didn't pick Rags and Taylor. Come on, let's go see if we can find him. Okay? Why would they run away? I don't know. Disguise the feelings yeah. that I hold. You're the old one I think of, and I need you desperately. Now I've come undone since you've become the only one for me. You're the old one I dream of, and I know it's destined. Now my mind's at rest, I have the best Since you've become the only one for me Barclay, honey, I really think you should get some sleep so we can be fresh to look again in the morning. I don't want to go to sleep. Barclay, listen, staying awake all night is not going to help them find their way home, but if we're alert, that could help. Yeah. I must be hungry, Dad. I know. How are they going to eat? They need us. Barkley. Oh. Now I have seen it all. What? The horse locked the door. What? Are we locked in the basement? Why are we whispering? Because I think he understands us. You do? Yeah. Well, if he does... Let him know that I now have a weapon, and I'll use it. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Lawsuit. We've had some threats at the office. You didn't tell me about any threats. I didn't want to worry you. You know, they were disregarded as a prank, but I think we should call the police. What's up, Captain? Uh, we got a reported potential double kidnapping. First victim's name is Ragtime. Man or woman? Male. What kind of a name is Ragtime, sir? Uh, first to last. Last is blue. Description? Blackish gray hair, blackish brown eyes, age 10. You have a height? Uh, 29 inches at the shoulders. What is it, about three feet? With the head, yeah. Second victim, uh, female. Golden blonde hair, brown eyes. The name of the second victim? Taylor. Taylor Blue. He's about three years old. Fed's been called in yet? Yeah. We got a special agent, Dooley, flying in this afternoon. I want you two to meet him at the airport. Cooperate with the sheriff's department. Bring him up to speed. Something's wrong with your report, Captain. Surely you don't accept Aren't, aren't you in the wrong room, Wills? No, sir. Uh, well... Yes, sir, but you report it. It's what? Well, it's ridiculous, sir. Ridiculous? Why is it ridiculous? Well, what kind of parents would name their kid Ragtime? Ragtime Blue. I mean, really, his hair, his height. I want you to go in the outer office there with the other detectives, and I want you to write out a full report and bring it to me as soon as you're finished. But I... No, this is very important. Very important. Uh, all right. Nice talking to you, Captain. Excellent. 
wonder if she floats. Oh! oh. <laughs> What are you saying? Right this way. No! to talk to you folks for a second. Sure. Uh, listen, there's something that you might like to know. This could be good, Dad. Please, Mr. Blue, it'll have to wait just a minute. What we need are some pictures of the children. Yeah, finally. Sarah, can you help me, please? Yes. Thank you. We have over 100 police volunteers outside. Get away from me. Two helicopters and several canine units. We're going to find your children. You're in good hands. Back off. That's Taylor, and uh, that's right time. Is this a joke? Well, we did describe them to you. That's true. I knew it. Shut I up. It. Animals? We've got over 100 men and women and two helicopters out there looking for animals? Yes, and thank God for the help. They should do it. It just came in the mail. They're asking $300,000 ransom. What? For animals. Oh, sweetheart. sweetheart. Ransom? Awesome. What kind of animals? So, I guess we're going to call this off, huh? No, Detective Hall, we're not. This reads like blackmail. And that's an obvious act of extortion. Can you raise that kind of money? I'll make some calls. You in training? Yes, sir. Good. Nobody knows you. You can drop the money. right over here. Well, there's nothing moving out there, sir. Good. I want all of you to keep quiet. We don't want the kidnappers to spot us, so just... Yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello. Oh, hi, honey. Look, I'm gonna be a little late. He may never make it home again if this phone rings one more time. One more ring and you'll all be working dust duty. Over here, ding a -ling. Oh, there you are. Don't run away from Lester now. 
Come on now. Come on. Come on. I tell you what, just come to Lester. Just come to... I didn't mean all those things I was saying about you. I love you. Yeah, right. Lester wants to be your friend. Come on, I'll get you home to your family. Come on. As soon as they give me my three hundred thousand dollars, you you're gonna be come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, don't, don't don't run, don't run, don't run. Are you hungry? Huh? You hungry? Here you go. Hey, you want some of this? No, oh, thanks. Oh, this is good. Oh, this, come on, look how good, look how. It's not good to Lester, but I'm sure it's good to you. Come on, come on, come on to Lester. Oh, hey, team, run. <laughs> nice timing, buddy. <laughs> Come here, boys. Come on. Come on. Here I am. I got in corner. I got in corner. Yeah, We're going to get it. Go on that way. Go on. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Can't you go any faster? Oh. 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 Why? Why did you let him go? Oh! 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 Boom! Lester! Excuse me! Oh! Wait a minute, did you all see that? What was that? An identified flying object? Is that me? Look right there. Who is this? I don't know. I've seen that car someplace. I smell something. All right. Look at it. Well, he's. What's he got? I don't know. It looks like. A... Oh, yeah. Pizza man! Yes. Got out here as quick as I could. Who ordered pizza? Right here. What are you thinking about? Oh, I, I just didn't want things to turn out this way. I was hoping the animals would come back safely. Does that mean you've changed your mind? No. No, no this just reinforces my earlier position. We need to move away from those animals, make a clean break with them. I want time with these kids. I don't want to share those fleeting moments with animals. Surely rags and tell I'm not going to put you through this again, Sarah. We've got an interesting offer from a national trainer who's going to keep rags and Taylor together. Come on, it's time this family learned to explore new horizons. You know, it's okay. It'll never be okay again. Barkley, sweetie. It's his fault. Not because he's never here. He wants us to change everything. Barkley, the changes, son, are for you. No, they aren't. And who's going to do the changes with us? You're never here. And when you are, you're working on your computer. I'll make time. I'll play with you. We'll do stuff. No, we won't. You don't know how to play. And you're mean. I hate you. I hate you. Please, I'll, I'll go talk to him. Why don't you, uh, why don't you let me go to him first? Sarah, he, he'll come around. You'll see. This is going to be the best for all of us, really. We're gonna go out in the hall, and we're gonna wait for the police. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, he won. That's it. That's it for us. We're, we're gonna go out in the hall? Oh, that's right, in the hall. We're leaving the room right now. And he's got us. Yes, I won. They're finally giving up. Gotcha. Oh, no. Barkley, honey, come on, open the door. Let me in, honey. Ragtime's gonna be fine, sweetie. They'll find him. I'm never gonna see him again, never! What's behind that fence? Closed water tower, deserted trail, and nobody living. Let's go check it out anyway. Did you pick up the ransom money? Yes. Go. All right, come on, guys. Watch your step. I got your back. That's all right. Sure, this place is deserted. No, we didn't see anything or anyone there. It's a real dump. Yeah, no one could actually live in there, you'll see. <sighs> Let's go inside. 
No more phone calls, sir. Don't say anything about beepers. We are professionals, people! Now, don't any of you forget it! Now, let's move out! Get out! some water, she looks terrible. Where's your rat coming? You're not gonna let him get away with this, are you? Well, we haven't found him yet, but we will. I don't understand, I thought they were together. No, ma'am, we found the dog locked in an old trailer. The horse wasn't there. But we have men combing the area, and we'll pick up the trail in the morning. Do you think it'd be okay if we went along with your men? We'll pick you up at daybreak, Mrs. Blue. Try to get some sleep. Thank you. Thanks. I gotta get Barkley to help. Barkley, oh, Barkley, let me in. Oh, Barkley, it was terrible. Oh, Taylor, where's Rad? Well, it was after our bedtime and... Lester, Lester, Lester. Ah, don't touch me. The little horse is sick. How do you know? I looked. He's laying down. His breathing's all labored. He ate too much wig hair, I know it. And he's pale. <laughs> yes, he's pale. <laughs> he won't come out, Mom. See if you can talk him into going to bed. Or I'll go with the police in the morning. What's wrong with Dad? He's just really tired. We all need a vacation. Try to get your brother out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Come on, Barkley, let us in. I'm sorry for everything I ever said about you. Or against you, honest. <laughs> We're never gonna see him again, are we? Yes, we are. We're the Blue family, remember? We stick together no matter what happens. He'll come back. No, he won't. He's gone. He must have heard them and ran away. Dad paid the ransom, Barkley. <laughs> so even he wouldn't let anything happen to him. He just wouldn't. The cops will find him. No, they won't. They don't even care because they're animals. I saw the look on their face when they saw the pictures. Barkley, when Rex comes back, I'll feed him for you. Me too. Yeah. I'll even help you with all the other chores. <laughs> Why? You guys never feed him. That's because we cheat. We never let you see the coin because most of the time you win. I do? How long have you? Like forever. I mean, you're so gullible. And we just thought that we're older and so much more mature than you. Can you ever forgive us? We'll feed him. Promise. It's too late. He's not here. And even if he comes back, Dad's selling the animals. Come on, Barkley. Let's go to bed. Just what are we going to do? Well, just stop asking me what are we going to do. How about if I call 911 let the police just throw us in jail? I don't want to go home. This isn't fun anymore. All right. I'm going to go look for the keys. I miss Barkley. And on the West Coast comes news that the little people's lawyer, Crusader Jerry Blue, has suffered his first major obstacle of the year. His miniature horse, Ragtime, has been reported missing. Fear of foul play is, of course, on everyone's minds. Now, Jerry Blue has spent the majority of his adult life helping private parties and small companies from the evildoers of the corporate world. Local politicians and law enforcement officials are deeply embarrassed, and word from the White House is help was on the way. Even a workaholic like Jerry Blue can have a bad day. 
and we wish him well. We can ask about it. Barkley, wake up! Oh, come on, Barkley, wake up! I have to go out, girl? No, I want to find Rags. Do you want me to follow you? to do it. I found a way out. Taylor, where are you? Dog get off this ranch without being seen. I mean, how many men and women do we have here? Everyone's tired. Zip it, kid. You know, we have a theory if you want to hear. <sighs> this is a sad day for law enforcement, ladies and gentlemen. Right beneath our eyes, someone came on this property, snatched a boy and his dog, and got away. Well, maybe that's And no one saw a thing. <laughs> I mean, he even left the front door ajar. That wasn't our fault. Excuses. Let him talk. They must have a van, a truck. They must still be in the county unless, God forbid, the roadblocks must have. All the roadblocks weren't set up yet. All right, get out of here. All of you, hit the road and look. Oh, my t- 
tummy feels all better this morning. Prize and shine. <laughs> Lester! What the? He's feeling better. He's not gonna die. Oh, yes, he is. No, no, what do you mean? He tricked us, that's what I mean. You'll see what I'm gonna do to him. No, Lester! tried to tell us, but we wouldn't listen. We have to go and find them. We just have to. Let's go. Where would they go? You know, we haven't looked at the deserted water tank over the hill. That's a good idea. They might be there. Oh, we're going to hide you in that closet. It's a real nice closet. You'll come in and hide in the closet, and everything will be fine. No, you hide in the closet. What does it feel like to be busted by a miniature horse? Well, guess there's a first time for everything. That horse hadn't seen the life to me. Lester Whalen will get his revenge. You hear that? Well, you're gonna have plenty of time to plan it. That horse is smart. You say a horse did this to you? He outsmarted me. One time, 
Read him his rights. You know that that horse knocked my tooth out. <clears throat> Somebody in that closet. Oh, open that door. Wells, open that door. I'd help you, but I got these back spasms. Yeah. yeah. Let's step aside. But shut up. of the dark. Get her out of there. Uh, that, that, that crazy little horse, he, he's not here, is he? But please keep him away from me. Please. Read her rights. Read her rights. Please keep him away from me, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Okay, I'll be silent. I don't see Barkley. Okay, there's I know where Barkley is. I know where Barkley is. Come on, come on. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's organize this thing. Look for the dog. Look for the dog. Anybody see the dog? Anybody see the dog? Has anybody seen the kid, the small kid? Oh, maybe they'll follow me. But, but, Rags, Mom, Daddy, shh, he's running away. He doesn't want to be with us. Maybe he knows where Barkley is. Let's follow him. Come yeah, on. come on, let's go. Come on, Jerry. Oh, this is John. The horses led him to a collapsed bridge. Mom, I'm right here. Barkley, are you down there, sweetie? Barkley? Barkley. Mommy. You okay? We're okay, but we can't get out. It's okay, honey. I'm right here. I heard you. We're going to get you out of there. All right, some of you men, let's get that boy and the dog out of his hole. Let's get organized here. Don't worry about a thing, son. We'll get you out of there. Stay right where you are. Stay right where you are.
That's what you've been waiting for, isn't it? There's my boy. How you doing, Rags? Dad, welcome to the family. Hey, guys. Hey. What about me? Can I play, too? <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? I'm just playing around. Thanks for risking all that money to save Ragtime, Dad. Oh, you're welcome. Say, would you like to play catch with us? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd like to do that very much. Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You bet I'm sure. Uh, Dad, do you know how to catch a ball? <laughs> yeah, I think I can figure that out. How about you? Do you? Nah. Well, we're not that good. In fact, I stink. True. Well, let's see if we can correct that, OK? Where are the balls and mitts, huh? And I know it's destiny. Now my mind's at rest. I have the best. Since you become the only one for me. I can read you. Feel your thoughts within my heart. Coming from you. the only one I see and I won't let go we'll always know that we were meant to be you're the only one I think of and I need you desperately now I've come undone since you become the only one for Destiny. Now my mind's at rest. I have the best since you've begun. The only one for me. Mm -hmm. Always want to stay together. Yeah. And I need you here.